So what do you do in Ardmore on a rainy day? I don't know. Maybe you check out some indoor activities and do some urban air? Yeah! Are you ready? Okay, this facility is way more than I thought it was. There are so many different activities to do in here. It is truly incredible. I wanna say there's probably about 10 different zones inside here where you can just find different places to play, different things to do, and I mean, truly, there's something for everybody. Kennedy is three years old and she is having a blast. I wasn't sure how this was gonna go down because she is so small, but oh my God, she is just killing it in here and loving every minute of it. So here I am just inside the entrance and you can see that you come in and you've got a wide open space here and a huge rock wall along with a cafe. There's actually 10 places to play, let's count them down. First off is the rock wall. It's got three different sides for play. You have the freestyle open jump, which also separates into a seven and under space. The jump twist flip for the acrobats. Slam dunk for those that want to get a little extra hang time. Dodgeball, there's two of them. So fun. The tubes, a total favorite with Kennedy, I've got to say. The warrior course, oh my gosh, so much there. The battle beam. The drop zone, my personal favorite. I enjoyed this probably the most. And then a mini arcade. So let's start this off with the warrior course. It looks like a massive bubble bath. I loved this thing and it was so fun to jump into. There were so many obstacles in here, truly a feat of strength for those that are a little more fit than what I might be. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Moving on to the open jump area. As you can see, Kennedy loved her jump action. Boom! <laughs> How crazy is this? So while your kids are jumping around, you can just hang out and relax in the massage chair. Nice. They're leaving me behind. I've got to hurry up. And we're moving on to the next attraction. We're going to check out the uh, slam dunk here. I don't know, this looks, I don't know if this is regulation or not. I think we're a little, I think we're a little short for this. But, oh my gosh, how did I miss this? We have a shorter version. All right, Kennedy, are you gonna be able to make this? Go Let's see you up. do this like a pro, man. Almost, almost. Apparently the Kennedys had enough of the slam dunk location. We are moving on to the next one. Okay, so one of the areas in here is a massive air mattress. And honestly, it reminds me of a stunt show. Oh, we got Kennedy! We've got Kennedy! Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! And if you're worried about getting out, nope, not at all. Not a problem if you're Kennedy. <laughs> I don't think this is quite what it's supposed to be. So maybe you have a brother or sister that you'd like to fight it out with. You just grab one of those battle bean stick things and just duke it out with each other. They're pillowy soft. Here I am showing off my acrobat skills. Oh, not really. This is Stacy Hesser, Ardenworth's favorite realtor. Um, she's actually stuck in the ball pit right now. She can't get out, which we also know if she ever has to crawl into tiny spaces and houses, she would be able to probably get out. So that's, that's the best thing about hiring her of your realtor because, <laughs> because this is the face of a great realtor. So now we're heading over to the tubes. This is full of all kinds of obstacles, slides, all kinds of stuff. It's like a big fun house, obstacle course kind of thing. By far, this was probably Kennedy's favorite place to be. Check her out. I mean, she is just the bravest. I loved running around in here with her. And she's also concerned about safety. We're good. Safety check done. Come in. There's lockers that you can rent. They are rentable with a credit card, debit card, or cash. If you don't want to do that, though, there are cubby holes available for you to just stash shoes and whatnot in, though, too. So pro tip for you. If you're not going to be bouncing, you might want to bring in some extra clothes because it is a little on the cooler side. But man, when you're jumping, you definitely want to have some stretchy clothes on and a t-shirt or tank top. Jamie's wearing a sweatshirt. She's a little warm. <laughs> So anyway, pro tip. So there's three spaces that you can rent out for parties. This is a large area. It's located upstairs. You can see up here you have additional uh, picnic tables as well as a great view of what all is going on downstairs. This is the second room that you can rent. It is a small room and this is room number three. 
This one is on the main floor and opens up into the cafe area. Lots of seating available down here. Speaking of the cafe, there's plenty of eats here, great snacks, some simple foods, and some frosty beverages. Who doesn't like a variety of icy drinks? You also have some tea and some juice and several Coke products available, but I mean, come on, let's just get back to it. There's those icy machines. I was introduced to funnel cake fries, and let me just tell you folks, these things are delicious, as if you couldn't tell. So thank you so much, Mr. Satani, for hooking us up. I loved them. So that's about it for Urban Air. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I did, and guess what? Now that I know that it has so much fun stuff to do in here, I don't care if it rains outside because it's an awesome excuse to come in here and have a great day bouncing around. And by the way, if you're interested in moving to Southern Oklahoma, I'd love to help you out. My information is going to be in the description below. So just give me a call, text me, comment on the video. I'll be in touch. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been so fun. Bye. I came in like a wrecking ball.